Hey, brothers and sisters, what's up? This is the Reluctant Nabi back again. Another video, and now you can see where the modern day black male is a complete abject failure when it comes to the community as a whole. And we're talking particularly about those that are raised by the single mothers, right? These guys are so brainwashed that the first thing they do is throw other men under the bus. All right, that's what they do. Willie Lynch letter, the physical strength of a man, but the mentality of a woman. I said this about LeBron James when I compared him to Steph Curry and said that Steph Curry was better than LeBron James, not physically better, all right, but better than LeBron James as far as basketball, team sport, um, sport understanding purpose and everything, and mental man toughness, all right, and Lonzo Ball is kind of better than LeBron James, in that arena i'll explain that in a minute are these two a uh, better physical specimen no all right one may have a better game than he does as far as what he does and that's steph curry reigning the threes and stuff like that and how he functions as a guard all right but the weakness of the mind of LeBron James is clearly evident. And you can tell that basically his mama raised a simp that is being molded by any of his handlers, one being Nike. Next, the politicians are going to get a hold to him. The feminist agenda already got a halt to them. And, and so this is where we're going to break something down here. His comments and how he single-handedly is the problem with the Lakers. LeBron James is the problem with the Lakers. And a lot of people that like the Lakers and not understand what's going on. And I'm about to break it down by this one phrase. People keep saying that a team sport, the Lakers, is LeBron's team. So what happens? All of the stars, especially Ball, Lonzo Ball, all right, if you notice, Lonzo Ball has risen in efficiencies when he when he is allowed to touch the ball. His three-pointers are better. He has a higher percentage. His defense is better. He plays some of the best defense. But what I notice is he doesn't get the ball to make things happen anymore. Uh, the, the team is all about LeBron James. Just dump it off to him. And let him go to work. He'll pass it to you when they collapse on him. He has ruined the potential for this team. In a way that people might not be able to recognize. He does not have the mental strength. To take over a team in the West. When everybody plays lights out. All right. His frustration, and the first thing he wants to do is start moving pieces around to suit him. In other words, he put the eye in team. And that's the problem. The Lakers is no longer a team. It's one guy and putting pieces around him so that he could stack his stats. I don't know. But they're not winning, and it's not working. Who are you going to blame first? The coach. All right. Let me greet everybody before I forget. 
Havorin hardu gudag ola oit to the bank basas los bonjour mes amis kedu bawani konichi wa ni hal ni ama sani bonani jumbo habaragani assalamu alaikum and shalom. All right. Now, one the biggest problem with LeBron James is he's being used by everybody and he forgot that he was a man playing a sport with a bunch of men. How do I know this? Well, let's pay attention to what happens with the statement that he made. All right, y'all know y'all know the statement that he believes that the black women are the most powerful women in the world. I'm going to show you how foolish that is and why this foolishness is killing the Lakers from what they should be to what they look like they are now. Now, I want you all to look at this statement as we break it down. No, I was just thinking uh, of the, the African-American woman and thinking how powerful it is. It was a very easy example why I believe they're the most powerful uh, women in the world. All right. So they got to him and now him on his platform. He has separated the woman from the rest of the community. He has separated the female from all of the children. And from the family unit. Why? Because his mama, who was sleeping with teammates while he was with the Cavs the first time. All right is his icon his mom we'll get into why that is a major problem and why black women should be despised for raising their sons up to be like this and now I, I said it despised for raising their sons up to be like this his mom has nothing to do with him being where he is. As a matter of fact, I will go further and say he is where he is despite his mom. And we'll go to encyclopedia.com to show you what I mean by this. So let's finish analyzing his statement. Because uh, I had the example of my mother every single day. Um... Now, he had the example of his mom, and we'll get into how poor of an example that was and where he would be if he didn't grow up to have his father's DNA and strength and the coaching of men who solely the reason he is where he is. Oh, let's not forget about Nike and all the rest of the stuff and the scouts. All right. So I can imagine being 16 years old and, 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 uh, and having a kid being a sophomore in high school and having to raise a kid. So she was 16 year old, a sophomore in high school, having to raise a child. That sounds like a bunch of irresponsible, ir irresponsible garbage. And this dude is promoting to other girls that 16 that my mom did it too. So going out and sleeping around and having babies at 16, that's really not such a bad idea because you could raise LeBron James. Never mind that you have a better chance of hitting the lottery than you do if you are a 16 year old female and having your son be risen to the stature of LeBron James in the NBA. Think about it. There are 30 teams and only um, 10 to 12 people on each roster. All right. There is millions of Afro people. All right. And only 70% of those are black. So think about that. That's how rare it is to get a LeBron James. Oh, and wait a minute. You still might not get that because even if they make the roster, most of them lose all of their income to thoughts, insta thoughts, and all the rest of that within five years after leaving the NBA. All right. The only people that made something of themselves with themselves 
and did not have it given to them in the NBA, they pretty much had fathers. Steph Curry changed how Nike goes up and approaches players anymore because they lost out on him and Under Armour became a bigger seller after Steph Curry. Not only that, Steph Curry funneled a lot of other people that Nike wanted to get on their um, endorsements into Under Armour. What's the he has a dad. Um, Ball, whether you hate him or not, whether you hate his dad or not, it doesn't matter. Because he said whether he plays basketball or not. And it wasn't given to him. As a matter of fact, most of these black men, not the Afro brothers, but most of these black men are haters against Lonzo Ball because he has a dad. Come on, let's 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 be real. They hate him because he has a dad. And they deep down wish that the, they had some dad that would have set them up in business so that if they fell that basketball, oh, well. They have a fallback. Uh, you know, by myself, uh, by myself, without the means, without the support system. Without the means and without the support system. First of all, this woman was probably getting child support and this dude was on public support from the state and the government. That is the means and that is the support system. He got, his mom got government support and she got probably child support. Maybe not much. All right. But we'll get to his mom in a minute. Without anything and, and giving that kid um, a sense of, just a sense of pride, a sense of strength, a sense of no worry. And, um, and the only reason he had a sense of no worry because of how good he was in basketball. And he understood that people noticed. But let's finish this out. Because of you, uh, Gloria James, uh, I'm able to receive this award today. I'm able to be in a position today where I can give back and, and showcase why um, I believe the African-American women is the most powerful women um, in the world. So, All right. I've never heard, heard more BS Especially, be it given his icon, um, iconic status, then there's a lot of information and background research that if people cared to research would know that this statement falls flat on his head. He's where he is because of men, despite his mom. Let's break that down. Okay. Now, here's where he is because before LeBron James have completed his sophomore, sophomore now, understand this. It wasn't because of his mom he had no worries. It was because he could play basketball. Before he completed his sophomore year of high school, basketball scouts were discussing his chances of playing for the National Basketball Association before playing his first regulation game in the NBA. James had signed deals with Nike and other corporations for multi-million dollar product endorsements before he completed his rookie season in the NBA sport, uh, in the NBA. Sports writer was discussing his chances of joining the most elite players in history in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Comparisons to superstar Michael Jordan. When did he know this? As a sophomore in high school. So while his mom raised him on government assistance, his basketball talent that came from men, in other words, you take the men out of his life, the men that were making choices for him because of basketball, and leave the choices that are made for him up to his mom. And he most likely would end up in prison and not in the NBA. How do we know this? 
the only way we would um I know this probability by looking at well who would his mom choose as a role model for him if he wasn't playing basketball all right they called James the chosen one indicating the hope that the rookie phenom would receive interest in the NBA that declined since um Jordan's retirement right so they wanted him to bring the NBA popularity back all right so let's take a look at his mom all right we know about the scandal of her sleeping with one of the players and we know about the cover up with that because it's lebron james we know about her antics early on okay now here we go. We got, he said he know no struggle, right? Gloria struggled to provide for James during his childhood. When James was about five years old, he and his mother moved seven times in a year. All right. She, so she did not give him stability. Remember, if it wasn't for the fact that he grew tall, that he, he became a physical specimen. He'd be re like the rest of the jokers that had to move seven times in a year. If he couldn't play basketball, he probably would have been in jail. All right. For a couple of years a year, for a couple of years during elementary school, James lived with the foster family. Wait a minute. Look at all the heaps of praises he just levied upon his mom. Right? But he lived with a foster family. Do you know what this means? This means CPS had intervened into his life and had to take him from his mom. And the mom had to go through training to get him back. Gloria's longtime bro um, boyfriend, Eddie Jackson, has acted as a father figure um, for James. Check out the father figure that the mama picked. But he was not always around during James' youth, spending several years in prison for selling drugs and later for fraud. So these are the kind of lessons that the father figured that her, his mom chose for him, chose that, that his mom chose, right? This is the kind of life that his mom had him in. Regardless of any troubles they may have had, however, James and his mother have a close supportive relationship. He told Jack McCollin of Sports Illustrated, my mother is my everything. Always been, always will be. So this is why he's the perfect tool to absolutely ruin the mentality and the minds of 16-year-old girls everywhere by telling them that there is nothing wrong with um, being with thugs and all the rest of that. Because you might have be that one that have that one child that might get into the NBA like him. All right. The disgust I have with this dude here. All right. At the messages that he's sending children is beyond disgust. The disgust that I have for him about how he spits in the face of men trying to do the right thing in order to lift up the mother that's done nothing but evil and wickedness is beyond disgust. All right, the link um, encyclopedia.com will be in the description box. All right, go check it, go read it, and, and read up on this. We got to get tired of these dudes because they could play a game that they could speak on life and understand that this message isn't coming from him because he don't know how to think. This dude has not had to think for himself since these handlers saw him play basketball. 10th grade. Oh, he was rich in high school. He was getting money in high school. That's why they skipped college. 
See, a lot of us follow his career. That's why they sent him to Europe to do that one year out and then come back into the NBA. All right. They kind of sent him to the farm league to get around that college thing. Because truth be told, he might not have had the grades or the test scores to get into college anyway. All right. So now, Luke Walton, Magic Johnson, all right, this dude has brought a whole bunch of new kind of mess to the Lakers. And no one really knows what to think of it. Think of it. All right. Now, remember I said, I clearly said that it was men. So Drew Joyce second, right, who coached James for many of his early years, recall an article for the Knight Rider Tribune um, News Service that while playing in a summer league during elementary school, um, James was an aggressive offensive player who really liked to shoot the ball a lot. Joyce remember advice he gave to James at the time. I start telling LeBron about passing the ball, how great players make their teammates better. I talked about getting his shots in the flow of the game. Joyce assumed that he would have to repeat his advice many times, reminding the 11-year-old to be a team player, but he was mistaken. James absorbed every word his coach said and immediately changed his playing style. Oh, his mama instructed him how to play basketball. Oh, these were coaches. That was the last time I ever had to talk to Le LeBron James about shooting too much. Joyce recollected. So he gets all of this, his fundamentals from all these coaches all the way up. And then straight in, in high school, he gets tutelage from the Cleveland Cav Cavaliers front office to be who he is. So they had their hands in his life for a while. That's why he had no worries. In other words, he is where he is, not because of his mom, but despite his mom. Now, this goes back to my original point. This is why the Lakers are not performing well. Because you got a physically strong athlete who can get his points, but he, set up, he upset the apple cart because they made it his team. They made it the team of a dude with the mind of a woman. All right? Not thinking like a man. Not thinking... For the four men, but being used as a puppet by everybody that got their hands on the string. And this, it, this includes this feminist agenda. I will say this, the toughness from Michael Jordan was his dad. And I still think LeBron James is statistically a better player. But as I pointed out before, he has problems with his mind. So the difference between the purple and, and gold 23, purple, gold, white, and the red, black 23 is a dad. All right? Y'all, don't fall for the crack of food, from the black of food. All right, don't fall for it. All right, understand what the real hand is behind all of this. All right, don't be deceived or mesmerized by all the fake stuff. At no point this, did this dude, LeBron James, ever have to think for himself. Whereas... 
Steph Curry, he changed the way things are. LeVar Ball, he's done something. LeVar Ball has forced the NBA to create a way to start paying athletes straight out of high school instead of them having to go to college. The college is now getting in on the game because LeVar Ball got tired of them making so much money off of these children, and he wanted to give them something else, and he did it. His son is in the NBA and receives so much hate from these dudes. But these dudes don't understand how no matter what you do or how big you get, they will always make you think that you didn't get to where you um, did or you would not have gotten where you got to if it wasn't for your mom that did nothing for you. All right. Didn't teach you anything. Didn't give you the skills. Didn't give you the physique or anything. Just had you. That's all the that's all the black woman got to do. And then everybody else would come in and do their thing. Why? Because they don't want to see power to the men. And he LeBron James, as strong as he could be, at no time yet have I ever seen him think like a man in the NBA. His Achilles heel is his mind. And his eye that he put in team. And they're building these teams around him. But now we're seeing in the West how he is actually make, failing. And he's making his team fail right along with him. Because he don't have the mind of a man to know when to back off and really include others. And he's acting just like a woman looking to get somebody fired because he can't take the heat or responsibility for kind of just taking other people out of the game. I heard a dude say this. LeBron James doesn't make a team better. What he does is he makes worse players better. But he makes good players worse. I was like, yep, that's about it. So what do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section. All right. With that said, I'm out. Hey, and I almost forgot it. Let's get those thumbs up. To up. Get the thumbs up. Don't forget to donate to this channel. And for what we do in the community, um, my PayPal me link will be in the description box. Oh, y'all, and I'm doing something new too. Uh, another part of the community in Houston, I'll um, tell y'all about it on a live show. All right. Like, subscribe, share, comment. When you subscribe, click that bell. All right. So with that said, I'm out again.